my dear students welcome to my english class uh, good morning to everybody and before starting my class i want to say something and uh, all of you have almost requested me to take uh, my classes and start my classes with you actually at this time there is this lockdown period there is no school no coaching no teacher no guide that's why many of you have requested me many guardians also have called me to start my classes uh, as early as possible accordingly today i have decided myself that i will start my class with you accordingly i have come to discuss an important topic with you and some of you have suggested me that uh, you want narration to be discussed by me and basically i want to say during this lockdown period don't waste time anymore you have to take the responsibility of yourself you have a lot of time to you and always try to utilize this time actually keeping the syllabus opening the syllabus in front of you try to practice everything uh, uh, in this in this break time and of time and uh, before starting narration i want to say if you have any sort of copy just take it and try to note it down okay and today uh, i will discuss narration but before that i want to say it will be very difficult for me to complete a single grammar within a very short time uh, so i want to say every day i will step uh, i i will discuss the grammar step by step and you will get the informations but every day you have to attend my classes and you have to be much more careful in my classes so let's start narration today i have discussed narration with you my dear students all of you know uh, narration is a very common item in almost every classes uh, maximum of you have already practiced narration and as you have requested me accordingly actually as you want to discuss it so there that's why i have to uh, starting uh, started narration to discuss with you so narration is a very common grammar today i want to discuss narration so before that i want to say narration is a one kind of uh, presentation that means it means to present something to someone and the other name of narration is speech the word or sentence of a speaker is called speech actually narration has two speech narration i want to discuss there are there are two kinds of speech there are two kinds of speech number 1 direct speech number 2 in direct speech so there are two kinds of speech direct speech and indirect speech and direct speech direct speech has two parts direct speech has two parts i am showing you in example for you that will be much more helpful for you to understand what are the parts of direct speech i want to say rifa say to me i am reading now so notice here direct speech has two parts Rifa said to me, "I am reading now." There are two parts in this sentence, and a part is given inside the inverted comma, and the speech which is given inside the inverted comma that is called reported speech, and the part which is given outside of the uh, reported speech is called the reporting part. So here, the said to is a reporting part. and the speech which is given with an inverted comma this is called reported speech so my dear students notice here there are two kinds of speech direct speech indirect speech direct speech has two parts the part which is given here it is called reporting part the speech which is given with the inverted in, in, inverted comma this is called reported speech so this is one kind of starting of narration 
but there are some other rules of narrations. So step by step we have to discuss it. And before starting the basic rules of narration, I have to say, I have to write down some expression of time please in action. So I ask everybody to write, you will write change of expression of time please in action. Expression of time please and action and then you have to draw a box in the box we have to change the words that will be given in the indirect speech and direct speech you have to draw the box like this and at the first box you write direct from direct it will be indirect then again you will write direct then you will write indirect So, I think all of you are much more known to these rules. If you find any sort of here, from here in indirect speech, there will be there. Come, this will be go, ego, this will be before. If you find any sort of word like today, in indirect speech, there will be that. If you find any sort of word like tonight, while changing to indirect speech, you have to like that night. And if you find any sort of word like this, it will be that. If you find this, it will be those. And I want to see if you find any sort of word like Tomorrow, it will be the next day. The next day, the following day. The next night, This will be the following line. The next week, it will be the following week. The next month, this will be the following month. The next year, this will be the following year. The next 50, it will be the next 50. So in this way there are many to write but time is very short. The next century, it will be the following century. The most important thing is yesterday it will be the previous. So from yesterday there will be the previous. Then last night, the previous night, last week, you have to write the previous week, last month, you have to write the previous month, last year, you have to write the previous year. And there are some other words like hands. It will be thanks. So these are some words, expression of time, place and action that you have to change while doing direct speech to indirect speech. And everybody, I want to ask everybody to note it down. And you have to memorize all the words that are given here. Thank you very much.